Hey there guys and welcome back to Super Mario RPG. In this episode, I promise you, and Yumi's not here today, it's just me. She's gone, by the way. I'm back. So, oh no. <laughs> I thought it was just me. This is an awkward intro. Anyway, I promised you that we were going to be fighting the biggest boss ever. And Yumi's going to press the button right now and we are going to see. Here we go. Um... Ah, this is terrifying. The eyes protecting Axor! There was just like a random guy floating by. He <laughs> was just like, the eyes protecting Axor! Thanks, guy! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we do without that guy. So okay. this is just like, they don't even give us an intro to this kind of battle. But, as you know, this is Axor. Yep. This is the sword who that, tried that. to blow us away before. What are we gonna do with swords who try to blow us away? Kill it! But the eye is protecting the Exor, is that, okay, which is so the, the is core the, of the, the whole thing. Shush. The, the Exor, then, is the hilt. Yes. Instead of the actual blade. We don't get to fight the blade. This we already fought the blade. Ooh. That, that's not... <laughs> that was a very well-concealed burp that time. I bet you <laughs> oh, didn't even on. know if I didn't say. Anyway, anyway um... This is not... Ex... Excel... Ex... Excalibur. I can't believe I almost said Excelsior. Excelsior. <laughs> Excalibur. It's not Excalibur. Why not? This is Exor. Oh, okay. The evil. I don't think he needs to. Anyway, why is the mouth called a Neo Squid? Who knows? I I like to, next time somebody starts talking like interrupts me. I'm gonna shut your Neo Squid. <laughs> <laughs> because it used to be a kid and now it's a squid. Oh, it's a squid now. Yeah. Is it a kid now? Squid? It's it's a Neo Squid. Okay. So that means it must have been a kid before. Ah, okay. So it's new to being a squid. Okay. So anyway, the Exor. The gonna, eye is protecting the Exor. It doesn't say which one. He's got a right eye and a left eye. We're gonna go for the right. Boom. Oh. oh. Ow! That looked like it hurt. Oh, uh, this, really this think really that hurt. hurts. Oh, snap. Ooh! Ooh! Oops. Snap. That's how I feel. Whoa, it just. Oh, his just bite winked at her. <laughs> and that hurts. Anyway, that's how I feel sometimes when I have itchy eyes and my allergies yeah. are going, I just want to go. <laughs> and just rub it. Whoa. That makes it worse. <laughs> Calm down, you mean? <laughs> it's it kind itches. of violent. <laughs> Ooh. Exor's protection is gone. So now Exor is opened up, which means uh, I'd take a psych bomb here. That's what I'd do. All right. If it was me. But it's not me. It's huge. But we're going to do it. Because, like, bombs Princess, are just fun. Don't stand on the edge like that. That's really close to the edge, but that's, that's worrisome at this point. Okay. Uh, let's uh, drill claw that Exor. we got to take Exor down. Now, Bowser takes uh, risks to a new level. Venom drool. How can an eye How come drool? his mouth didn't venom drool? Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. Drool. Oh, no. Uh oh. Solidify. He has his ice Neo breath. squid. It's like in his. He took like an icebreaker. Yeah, those icebreaker mints. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in this. The, this video is sponsored by icebreaker. No, it is not. <laughs> Don't say that. We'll get taken down. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Should everybody's we? look everybody's so upset about YouTube's new terms They're they said that they were gonna take down videos with uh, vulgar content oh. and everybody's like uh, <laughs> Everybody's like every youtuber is gonna get taken down. And I was thinking that's funny. Wait a second not We're not gonna take <laughs> I think oh, that's no. cool. He's gone cuckoo crazy. <laughs> that guy. This is what he, he it's like it close-ups on his face when you hear about YouTube's new changes in their service. <laughs> it's just like, <gasps> anyway, it was almost a meme. I tried really hard. I'm gonna attack his Neo Squid, man. Okay. Get out of here, Neo Squid. Anyway, I just find it funny that we've been a clean channel that's posted like, between all of our channels. Um, all of our channels. <laughs> the one I had before, then Flash Flare, then your channel, we posted thousands of videos, literally. Or not thousands, but over 1,000. Wow. So uh, we've been running quite a long time without using a single expletive, unless you count stink and snap, which you, you may know. have to censor. You censored um, a few other things, but they weren't exactly. Yeah, I, I didn't. Those were just slip ups from our, our tongue, like not trying to say the word, but ending up saying something that wasn't. That because if you similar. if you commentate th a thousand episodes, you will eventually slip up and say like one of those words without trying to. But uh, so, anyway, yeah, I was trying to scratch my arm. <laughs> Yui just hit me. <laughs> I was trying to scratch my arm. <laughs> so that's what she says, but I don't know, man. <laughs> this is a funny episode. I think we should like. I I feel it's uncomfortable. All it does is solidify, man. How many mints has he had? A lot of icebreakers, man. He's breaking the ice with us. He's trying to be. Should we try to not a lazy shell in this video, Okay, fine. I was about to say no because that's not strategic, but doing 400. Oh snap! That's oh, creepy. his eyes back. 
Oh. Close your eye. Close. Close your eye. His protection is still gone, though, because that other, other eye is like... Oh. Uh-oh, now it's not. Okay, put a lazy shell in that eye. Ooh, lazy eye. Uh, actually, his protection is gone! Why is he protected by the eyes? I don't know. That seems kind of weird, honestly. He's got his eye on you. He reminds me of that guy from Pajama Sam. That guy was messed up. We don't talk about that guy. <laughs> Why are you attacking the eye when X is open? You're just prolonging this battle. I don't want the protection to come back. Okay, fine. He's standing in his mouth. That's not a good place to stand. Oh, uh, now it's gone again. Okay. Boom! That was a good kick, Mario. Oh, yeah. And he yeah. can't attack this with the solidify icebreakers either. He's like down for the count. Actually, Exor, despite. There we go. Oh, snap. Look at his eyes turning blue. He's like. He's doing his lip thing. Oh no, his final lip thing. Oh no. Okay, what is this? Ah, wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready for this. What is happening? We just is this happy music? Into the Neo Squid. 34 experience points. That's happy. Yeah, not too bad. So I just I just need to take the time to mention that we started out the series with the lip thing from XR and he just died doing the lip thing. And that's... Yeah. That's great. Is that what you were about to mention about him before he was defeated? No. I just came to mind again, and it just touched me. Okay. It was a touching moment. But here we go. We just got sucked into the Neo Squid. Uh, but before that, Gino is uh, 22. <laughs> <laughs> he just sticks yeah. himself out of the mouth. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> Not feeling 20. We got a, uh, a special. Man. All right. There. All right. We probably did that last time. We should probably keep track of. This is a cutscene. We never get these. Whoa. Thank you for that sound effect. What is this place? Oh. Uh, do you know where this leads to? Gina, you tell us. I know, I already know. It looks like Exor is the contact between the two worlds. Whoa. I know all this stuff because I read a dictionary. <laughs> In other words, my friends, if we follow this road, we'll find Santa and Smithy. <laughs> okay. it's maybe Santa, I don't know. So... What's keeping us? I don't know. Bowser. Hang on! Uh, hey! I only joined so that I could get my castle back. I'm not going to be dragged along on this stupid hunt. Oh, really? Uh-oh, Bowser's cutting and running. This is as far as I go. <laughs> He's like a spoiled kid. I'm going to gather my troops and rebuild my castle. <gasps> and you, Mario! You're an official member of the Koopa Troop. It's your duty to help with the repairs. Oh, really? <laughs> Mario is taken aback by this news. Uh, Bowser, we've been pretending all this time. <laughs> Bowser, you're completely missing the point. Wow! <laughs> I'll rip your stuffing out! <laughs> uh oh. Dave little... and I, I mean, Flash and I, always used to laugh at that point. It was funny, and Gino's <laughs> obviously at a high enough level where he's not really worried about that at this point. I think he knows he has a superior mind. <laughs> No, think about it, Bowser. The sword connects the two worlds, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Is almost fainting animation. <laughs> Even if we defeat Exor, there will be other weapon beasts to follow him. Your castle is at the entrance point to your world. In short, they'll be back. Is that what you want? <laughs> is this what you want, Ted? Um. Well. <laughs> um. Well, <laughs> more weapon things coming to take over my castle? What about my privacy? <laughs> Yikes! This isn't good at all. In fact, this stinks! But I can't just be pals with these creeps. Oh, really? I've got an image to keep up. <laughs> um, well, I've got it! No one insults the Koopa Troop and gets away with it! I've got a bone to pick with this smithy guy. Come on, Mario. We'll teach him a lesson. I'm so sly. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we're together on this one. Let's go. I like Gino. He's yeah. He knows what's He's up. He's awesome. So so we can go back hmm. through XOR apparently. All these little monsters would be coming through here and going boing right like into right Bowser's into the trampoline. So we gotta stop this. I love that little pagoda thing there. Oh, this music is awesome. You need to turn this up in editing. Because not not now, but in editing. Actually, turn it up now because I want to. I want to get in the mood. I want to hear this music. There may be a little bit of echo, but that's okay. It's okay, man. I love this music. 
And this was always, this is what it, when it told you like, things get real right here. Look at this world. It's so depressing. I always thought that those things over there were like a, do you see the two eyes and the nose on those guys? Yeah. I always thought that they were like weird little smiley flowers <laughs> that weren't like quite smiley. They were straight faced. Drill creatures and... There's a sword on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to save here because we can. Let's save in both these places. Um, because that, that other place is way too far back. But if this corrupts, we won't get to see. Okay, did we saved before. I guess we have a little bit to go through. Okay, we can we can leave it. All right. Just in case, because we really want to keep that extra fight. Yeah. Um, another little pagoda. It's really cool. <gasps> ah! Now that is... Uh, is that even a Lum Reaper. Lum Reaper? Yeah, we fought one of these in Bowser's Castle. Ah, you... I, I guess we'll have to fight one again. <gasps> oh, it's a hippo! It's not a hippo. <laughs> that's the, that's, that should be the name of the episode. <laughs> Oh, it's a hippo! Anyway. It's a hippopo. Okay, so it's like... Back, you ghost. Back. Get out. <laughs> there. That was a powerful Just attack. Just hit any ghost with a frying pan. Boom. Yeah. They're out of there. So you've never tried it before, have you? Before you before you judge, you've never tried that. I like that little guy in his back. He looks like he's having a good day. He's like a bad day, actually. He's barking out our sandstorm. sandstorm. I, when you get a hippopo, all you want to do all day is ride on it. Cause like, why not? Yeah, it does look startling. I would, I would ride all day on my hippopo. <laughs> we could make a commercial, like, a commercial? get, get your hippopo today. I'm on hippo for Christmas. <laughs> it doesn't quite fit like the other one did. Yeah. We'd have to write a totally new song. Like, hippopos are hip, hippopos are cool, <laughs> hippopos help you get to school when you oh, want yeah. to drool. Oh, you go yeah. to school when you want to school, you start to drool sometimes, but not always. That's kind of gross. But you need a hippopo anyway. Bye, hippopo today. See, this is why I need to be a rapper. And we need to fight this amiibo. Amiibo. Uh, so I always thought it was an amiibo. It's an amiibo. It's an amiibo. You know what they should do? Yeah. They should make an amiibo, amiibo of an amiibo. Oh. <laughs> they like sell it for a thousand dollars. I'd buy it. No, I wouldn't. Like the most recognizable character of Super Mario RPG ever. It's like probably nobody ever found this. This uh, is like the most unrecognizable. But I it mean, needs to be an amiibo just because of its name. I mean, how could Nintendo pass that up? I wouldn't pass that. Maybe Square Enix won't let them, that's probably why. I don't get how Square Enix owns some of this stuff. You can't own that little blue blob. It It's like its own person. Nobody owns it. It's like equal rights, man. Everybody is like equal in this Psycho. game. Ha! Ah. Missed. Oh, yes. You just missed, buddy. That was a bad attack to miss on, especially since you get hit with a frying pan because of it. But I'm, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm happy, man. Okay, Molly's 21. 21. He's officially old enough to drink from a cloud. Wow, that must be awesome. It's rainwater, great, great stuff, man. <laughs> uh, let's uh, up pow because why not? That was good. That was good for you. See if you do it right. Ah, ah huge. That terrified Sorry. me. There's a happy trampoline when. You know what Smithy wanted to do? What? Instead of having Mario die there and fall into eternal chaos. He was just like, you know what? Let's put a happy trampoline down there instead. Because so when Mario falls, he'll have a happy face to <laughs> He really is Santa at heart. Yeah, he Honestly. just went a little bit wrong with his heart there. Ah, I hate this. But, you know, you, we don't have to see it three times. I know, I'm just a little <laughs> off. Maybe he did that because his minions were falling down there constantly. I will never happy. be able to say... I just, I'm gonna liven up the commentary. I will never be able to say the word minions again. Oh no. Without <laughs> picturing little yellow things that are called minions. That like bananas. And potatoes. Potatoes? Did they ever say potato? Or is that just like. I don't like... know. I think that's something one of the kids made up. Okay, one of the ah. kids. We forever will talk about the kids and you will not know who that is. That's so close. You were huge. It's kind of like. We, I think we've mentioned before, like, I'm just gonna keep talking, you can keep falling. I think I've mentioned before, like, in other episodes of Flash Flare, <laughs> the kids in the basement. <laughs> and it sounds so weird, but we'll just keep saying it because it makes people watch. Like, what are these people doing? I don't know, you gotta be facing the right way, man. It's like when you're riding Poochie in Yoshi's Island. <gasps> oh, the green guys! That was also a good episode title. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having fun tonight. I think that 
all wisps should be named Willie. And if you elect me president, by the way, you guys may not know it, but we're still running for president. There is still time. Yeah. The election hasn't happened yet. Although we're, I'm, I'm not clear <laughs> if we're going against each other or on the same ticket. I forget what we decided. <laughs> I think like one of us has to win first and that'll decide like who's the president and who's the vice president. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I, I don't know if anybody watches this far into the episode. Do a group attack, browser crush. If anybody watches this far into the episode, and you may get the only vote if you do this, because we're not the most famous people in the world. If if you do a group attack, if you watch this far, comment who should be president, Flash or Yumi. And for me guys. What for, for me, dudes? <laughs> guys, come on! Anyway, uh, whoever gets the most votes, which may only be one, whoever gets it, Ooh, wins the world. Whoa. Or at least our country. That's a lot of responsibility. HP, man. That was yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, got a one. It's okay. It's okay. Just jump, Yumj. Yumj! Okay. That's an enemy, boy. Uh, you're giving me problems. But, uh, <laughs> what downloadable content would it give us? It would, like, allow you to turn blue. You're blue enough. <laughs> okay. That would be really awesome. I mean, I haven't... Uh, don't kill me, but I haven't actually played Undertale, but I know that that's one of the bo one of these popular bosses attacks that turns you're blue you now? blue. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I have not played Undertale ah, either. Ah, whoa! Look, oh, the rats whoa, producing whoa, them already. Whoa, the whoa, getting ready to ah, sell to ah, everybody and all the stores. Oh, that's what they're doing. Yeah, that shut off but, the flow. Oh, now Nintendo can't do it. Everyone's gonna be mad. They're gonna be the rarest amiibo ever. Yeah, because they've got like only five ever printed. Oh no. And we're killing the rest. And why did you do this, Huge? Listen, uh, you had one job. Okay, only four. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm, I'm making it more rare. They have very low defense. You know what we should do? We should swap out, like, Malo and Gino, just, just to make ah! it more interesting. Whoa, dude. You overstepped your bounds of personal <laughs> space there. Now, that, now there's only three. Yumj, listen. <laughs> we could be making big money. Honestly, if there was only one, though, we'd make a billion. I know, and they're coming after me, too. It's like they want to be rare. Like, please make it rare. Whatever. Kill me, kill me. <laughs> okay. I have a few questions for that guy. Anyway, Gino has <laughs> switched the toadstool. Whoa, Just because we're bringing we're, out the old team. Yeah, this guy, these are the original three, man. Oh, whoa, what's where you going, man? What's we? What you doing, man? Whoa, man! <laughs> Listen, you're giving me problems. <laughs> Star gun. Oh yeah, that's a powerful attack right there. Boom. 310. Yes. 310 is a really cool number. You know what it reminds me of? What? Reminds me of that movie 300, except like plus 10. Oh, okay. Um, like, no. There's <laughs> two guys left, so you get one and I get the other one. We'll sell it for billions of dollars on Amazon or eBay. Depending on who becomes president. Okay. Is this is this the famous save point? It possibly could be. This is the one I always remember starting out, I think. I think beyond here are really super-powered enemies. Mario looks so awesome in this. He does. Imagine falling into that and then finding like a happy little trampoline down there. It's a good thing. <laughs> Oh, um, look ooh. at this. Well, what do you know? It's a hammer. Got an ultra hammer, but we don't need it. Lazy Shell is actually the most powerful final weapon for Mario, but it's kind of cool to get I an ultra think, hammer. I think oh. it's cool. Honestly. Okay, here we go. This reminds me of Bean Valley and its level of frustration. It also reminds me of... They did this in Super Mario Bros. 3. Oh. Nintendo has a thing about, like, nuts mm -hmm. twisting on um, little screws there. Yeah. Why would they do that? I don't know, but it like sure it, is frustrating. I feel like they're trying to tell us something, like they're trying to say that All they need is we're these, nuts. Well, <laughs> all they need is these torches blowing everywhere in this drum beat, like... Yeah. It, it's very reminiscent of that, actually, since the Doom ship was kind of, like, bottomless at some points. So Certain Doom ships were really, really frustrating. I think Ludwig's Doom ship was terrible. Well... Yeah, he is a mastermind at stuff like that. I forget which one was the most frustrating. Oh, oh what's this? I think it is clock. time to fight. That was almost a pun. Oh, yeah, look. It's it, That sounded like our alarm clock. Okay, this is me. It's Mario! It's Mario! How did he get here? We better do something! I know, we'll make him go deaf. Okay. Why are we fighting a clock? I don't know, but he's a countdown. And, and those are dig legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love it. They had a sense of humor. Shoot him in the face. Oh, the face? Yeah, the face. <laughs> oh, never. 
<laughs> that was a bad. And and uh, we'll we'll he has his hands tied. We're lazy, so we'll hit the snooze. Oh, <laughs> it's not like a. And uh, sound the alarm for sonic symbols. Oh, oh wow. gotta go fast, huh? Fear roulette. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. no this the red crystal. <gasps> ah! Time is marching on. It's three o'clock. Time to recover. Rats. So he has a different special attack for each time it is. His time goes marching on. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's that time right now. <laughs> okay. That's a point. That's a good point. Should uh, we take care of these guys those or the dinglings? Face? You got a sense for that. <laughs> um, I think we should. I think we should use Mala's new attack. Did uh, he get his final attack? He did. Star ring. See, we time. haven't done this yet. Now you thought Culex's Dark Star was cool? We've got our own Star Rain. And this guy is like a super jump of the Dark Star that just... I just gotta keep talking while he does this because it's such a powerful attack that I may just have to advertise the new Hippopo. Ride to school on your blue Hippo when you feel like it. And if you don't feel like it, leave him at home, but please feed him. That wasn't really powerful, man. I went... I kept that going. Oh, no. Fear all out again. Get him. No. I kept that going for an unbelievably long amount of time before, if I remember right. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty good. I mean, it doesn't do a lot, but it did do it across three people. That's that's pretty good. Um, Fear let again. Rats. Oh. oh. Gee. Scroll bell. Can't do that to Mar. Well, I, they got well actually, yep. actually, you can do that, but it we it's won't six like it. Time to fully recover. Fully recover. Mega recover. Okay, that was. I thought fully recover meant like fully, which would have terrified me as a child. But it didn't mean that. So jump on that clock's face. Okay. I still think that's the best joke ever. <laughs> Honestly, we need to copyright that one. And Maybe scarecrows sure. jump on clocks in a super duper <laughs> factory world. Only in Super Mario RPG. It, and only with Flash and Yubi. Yep. Honestly, if you guys think we're stealing any jokes from other Let's Plays, we have never watched a Let's Play of this. I don't recall ever watching a Let's Play of this. Yeah, I... And there's kind some of, out there, of course, but... There's a lot out there. <laughs> but it's kind of strange, because, like... Dark Star. Oh, no! He's got his own Star Rain. I thought Culex was the only one that had this attack. Ha ha ha! Oh, yeah. Missed. Yeah! Well, guess what? Malo has his own Star Rain. He's gonna do it to you as soon as he gets the chance. But we're gonna shoot you right in the face. Yeah. I just noticed that his eyes are like his hands. Oh, that... That blows my mind. <laughs> Whoa! I have a feeling that this won't affect it at all. Oh, it did. Good. There's so many things in this game that fire doesn't affect. I wonder if HP rain will heal Mario's stats problem. HP rain. Of course not, Yunge. Sorry. It's HP. Well, group hug recovers HP and everything else. Death star! Like Darth Vader Sorry. like drops down. Oh no, but it missed, missed again. again. You cannot do that tomorrow. It's seven o'clock. Dinner time. Water blast. Why is that dinner? I... I am not sure. <laughs> I do not know how to answer that question. That was a decent What's part. for dinner? <laughs> Water. Water. Water land. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know where that comes from, but we always, land. <laughs> we always found that to be the funniest part of Super Mario Bros. 3, the cartoon show. Anyway, uh, keep going. Because it came from the wrong voices. <laughs> yeah. Like the wrong characters. The wrong voices. But the funniest part of anything ever probably in that show. Well... Uh, bar the time where they, um, where Luigi had to fit in his line in one second, which we'll <laughs> leave for you to find. But the other funniest time was probably, um, when Luigi spoke in Princess's voice. <laughs> What's that about mashed potatoes? <laughs> it was hilarious. Anyway, uh, let's use a rock candy, because I feel like it. Okay. I, I like dessert. rock candy. You ever had rock candy? You have. Yeah, it's pretty good. I but it's it. very sugary. Ooh, 200 for each. Ooh, that's good. I mean, all. Okay. But, um... I don't know. I, I like I like rock candy. It's got to be the right flavor, though. I always end up getting the wrong flavor. Of rock candy. It's always like this purple stuff that tastes like, what did you do, man? Why'd you put purple stuff? Do an ice bomb. We're gonna we're gonna go all the way. Use all our stuff up. Uh, we don't need this stuff anymore. We're gonna have princess next time. Yeah. Spore chimes. Okay, so. Uh, he's gonna turn us into a mushroom now. That's better than a scarecrow. It you... might be slightly. Oh no. Oh wow. Fear a lot again. Rat. Oh. Well, at least he was the one lower on it's his. It's nine o'clock. Guess I'll break. Phew. Good. 
Uh, I like how Smithy built him in to have an attack that's basically rest. Well, everybody needs rest. Oh, good, Mario's back. Now let's lazy shell his face. I love that joke. The watch is broken. All right, he is out of time. So it's <laughs> time to take down these bells here. We were both thinking of that joke at the same time. Oh, they attack a lot. So, star gun. I like how Pino has to stand over there in, like, space. To... Yeah, and Mario kind of has to stand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Attack, attack up. Oh, yeah, we've got these guys now. This is it. Does he have an hourglass on the bottom of him? Yes, he does. Oh, yeah, that's it for them. Okay, 20, 20 experience. Fine, give us, like, the less experience up. points. You beat one amoeba. Amoeba. amoeba whoa. <laughs> and it gave you more experience points, I believe, than the clock. Or at least close. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Super Mario RPG. I'm slurring my words now because I'm tired. It's like 8.20 at night. Oh, well. Listen, you don't need to know what time it is. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to be asking my address. Yeah, I don't, and we don't do that. kick you out of the house. <laughs> if they're in the if house, they're in the how would they not know the address? <laughs> well, sometimes people get lost. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we have more bosses to take on. We're going to delve further into the chaos world. We might even find Dr. Eggman. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, fine. But I wish we could find Anyway. <laughs> uh, see you guys then. Goodbye. See you. You people.